Holy balls, there's a bloody scorpion. Oh, and a hyena. Oh, genie mac. Ah, your balls. Greetings, guys, girls, and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks, and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die. We're playing 7 Days to Die modded using. No, 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 starvation mod. Not War of the Walkers, not Wild Mod, starvation mod. Holy balls, it's just so many mods. But it's awesome. It's awesome that there's so many mods out there. I remember when it was just Wild Mod, and that was it. And now we have Vile Mod, we have War of the Walkers, we have Starvation, we have True Survival, we have Settlers Mod, we have all these different mods. It's absolutely fantastic what people come up with. Anyway, today's episode, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. I think we have to focus a little bit on defense. I want to start looking at a different design than usual. A little bit more design I saw in the War of the Walker POI that we came across in the stream. I really like the idea of that, and I think I would like to play around with that. It's a little bit more of a freeform open kind of a, a, a base where you have the horde potentially below you and if they actually actively fight them but we'll see anyway it would be good to start looking at uh, different designs and try them out but i hope you guys either way are gonna have a good time watching the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started so just made ourselves a fluorescent light let's see how that works if it works we maybe have to power it so let's put it down here Oh no, did we make a... It's a fluorescent light, yeah. Used to wearing to connect the power source, this light should be able to turn it on. Oh no! That's not the light that I was looking for. The insect repellent light, you plank! Ah, well, you know what? We made a light, that's good. <laughs> we can put it here. There you go, and we can put power to it at some point. <laughs> yes, exactly, she's even laughing at me like for... Okay, this is something we're gonna have to address. Sooner rather than later. Thank you. This is not gonna be allowed to be a thing. Anyway, so the design that we saw in War of the Walkers on the stream was, it's a pre-made base and it is absolutely amazing, yeah? But it has these gigantic squares everywhere. Basically, it has a big platform, yeah? And on top of it, it has a house and all that, yeah? But it has these squares which have iron bars in the middle so you can stand right there and you know the way zombies are they don't really when they when they see you underneath and there's room sorry and they see you on a top surface where they can see through like iron bars they just gather below you that's it they, they, they don't try to go through the wall to get to you they actually gather below you and you can just shoot them or whatever well that's what they used to do anyway yeah now i think they still do that yeah if, if you do it the right way but on the POI, it basically had that in a big square. So it had like four sections where you could stand on top and shoot down. But in the middle, it had this cage in the bottom with 50 di diameter um, cylinders, like the, the round ones. Yeah, you know, the, the half, the 50, these guys here. Yeah. Um, where are they? Where are they? I don't even know. Oh, we can't even make them. Ah, Genie Mac. Was it half? I don't know. They're the, they're the round ones, yeah, and they're only half the size, yeah, so they're 50, uh, whatever you call them. I think they're called 50-something, but um, in that way, the zombies can't get, you can't get through, you can't get through, but you can hit them through it, and they had the cage area, and then you could go up, and you had all these different surfaces where you could fight them from the top, which is really awesome. So I'm kind of interested in if that is the design that we can start using as well. So anyway, let me see if we can make that light, that insect light. Come on, insect light. Insect repellent. Okay, we have that short iron pipe we're missing, and that's it. So short iron pipe. Let's get a short iron pipe. We have we have one somewhere, I'm sure. There we go. And now we can make the insect light. Yes, thank you. And do we need to power it? Insect repellent, I place it on your farms to help prevent plagues. It doesn't say that it needs to be powered, but a generator bank we can make as well. All we need is more mechanical parts, more electronic parts, and more of these guys. So let me see that. I know my drink and my food is very low. Um, oh, okay. So that looks very poorly. I don't think we have all the resources we need for that. No, I don't think so. 
No, because they would be in here in this chest and I don't think I have enough. I only have nine mechanical parts. There we go. We have a little bit and that's about it. All right. So that means we're going to have to go on a grind and um, get the cars and definitely get sorted out with food and drink. And um, we should have a little bit of food and drink here sorted out. Let me see. Oh, of course. Yeah, all the food is spoiled because we don't have a fridge. Genie Mac. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful problem. Um, okay, blueberries. Yeah, we're going to have to eat blueberries. End of story. We're just going to have to chump them down. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. 15, 16. Oh, they only give me 1%. Okay, they're 18. And then 21. No, 22. There we go. So they give you a little bit. Okay, that's fair enough. I think that's enough. Um, we're going to have to sort out food. This is going to be a big problem. Okay, let me get sorted out and then we're gonna have a look. Okay, that light, let's see if that works. That should be finished by now. There we go. I don't think it will work. Yeah, it needs to be powered. You can see it already on the top. So what I was thinking is that we can leave it here and then put basically all the way around the crop and we can do the same on this side and that side and this side but as you can see it definitely needs to be powered all right okay so we have a task ahead we know that what we have to do we have to get the materials to be able to craft them and hopefully the plague is not going to kill anything that's currently grown here because that would be really awesome because i have even cabbage here or uh, salad which are lettuce which i was told is actually one of the better food sources that you can get in the beginning of the game so we're gonna have to worry about that. All right, I'm gonna make, I'm making some interesting discoveries here. Um, we just made pasta from, we had four dough and that wasn't enough to make, uh, sorry, we had four flour and that wasn't enough to make dough, but it was enough to make pasta. And now with the pasta, we can make boiled pasta if we can make cooking ware. And with the cooking ware, let me just go here and eat that. And with the cooking ware, okay, come on. With the cooking ware, we need a pan. There we go. I just made a pan. And now we can make cooking ware if we have three forged iron and two pipes. There we go. Two pipes and three forged iron. And... Come on. Nice. Cooking ware. Um, pancakes burgers can I use in the, in, at the big oven. Is that the big oven here? Yes. That's No, that's the kitchen table. So we don't have a big oven. which we need more iron pipes some broken glass so wow okay so we need a big oven let me see here so forged iron we have seven that we can make okay let's do that forged iron and what else do we need for the big oven we need two electrical pads we have two electrical pads then we need two glass let me see here two glass and 10 short iron pipes. Okay, let me see here. We're going to have to go and get a little bit of sand into the forge and we're making, ah, oh, we can't make glass. Yes, I forgot. That's the glass station. So we have to actually break glass down, which we can do from the outside here, I think. Let me just see. Is that glass? Yes, okay. Nice. Okay, there's our two glass. Now, what we need is pipes. So we're going to have to get some stone to get some iron to make some pipes. Holy balls. There's a lot of things to do. That's already empty. And then if we can make the big oven, we can make the pasta, which hopefully will give us some food back because that should work. And I have no idea where I'm going, but um, let me see here. Um, there's a lot of big stone, but I need the small stone. So we need to go over here. Here we go. One more pipe. Okay. Now, what do we need to do? We want to make the big oven. We can craft it. It takes a minute and 50 seconds and we have no food in the meantime. We are so screwed for food. This is impossible. So food, you just really have to scavenge. You don't really have a choice. We're going to have to go loot houses. We, we don't have a choice. Because there's absolute... Oh, balls. I'm glad we literally just skedaddled in the right direction. Holy balls. Okay, so let's get some uh, wood going. 
Okay, luckily these guys went right past the house. Holy balls. I'm glad I didn't go that way. Now our immune system is probably gonna get screwed up because we're walking through the rain and that's not a good thing, apparently. Anyway, so here we go. We're gonna have to get more resources. While this big oven is crafting, we might as well get as many resources as possible. Come on, there has to be more boulders there. There we go. All right, energy is a problem. So we can't make coffee because we can't have a farm. We need electricity. We need things for electricity. So we need basically a wrench. Otherwise, we're not getting the parts. So, ah, your balls, what the hell? Dude, mother of balls. Why are you sneaking up like that in the rain? I didn't even see you. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, come on! Genie Maka balls. You sneaky son of a bitch. Genie Maka was just minding my own business. I did not see him. He, I bet you he spawned behind me. No, no. I bet you if I look back the footage, he probably was right there in front of us and we didn't. See, I didn't see him. And I just turned around and went like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. Can we do some more weaponsmithing or anything or toolsmithing? No, toolsmithing is not until level 20. We don't need any more weaponsmithing right now. Sexysaurus is up. And Miner 69 is not until we have Mining 20, which is going to be soon. So we have that soon. So we're not going to be too worried about that. Is the big oven finished? Yes. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, we can have another recipe with the big oven. Yes, of course. Yes, we can make a cooking station if we have um, an NPC, was it? All right. Okay, so this is done. Very good. We have enough clay for the moment. Oh, lettuce. Yeah, pick up the lettuce. That is good food. And let's actually go back and see if anything has grown in our farm. That would be pretty cool to see. Okay, we have full energy. Oh, yes. Oh, no. It's already looted. I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Mother of balls. What is with those zombies sneaking up? Genie, Mac. Make a noise or something, you stupid piece of bubbles. Holy balls. Announce yourself, you stupid piece of... Genie, Mac. What is wrong with you? Unbelievable. I mean, we just walked past here. There was no zombies. Where? Where? Why, where, where from? Genie Mac. It's like the game literally showing you the middle finger going like, yeah, I don't care. We just spawn one in. Genie Mac. Okay, so this is, I don't know if this is growing or not. It has water. The water should have, I don't know what the distance is, but it should have some reach. So it definitely should be growing. Even if it doesn't have a light, because it has water. But um, we'll see. That gave me such a bloody heart attack. There was two zombies now in a row. The first one, I understand it was raining. We couldn't probably hear it. But the second one, well, there was nothing there. Ah, there probably was, and I'm just imagining it. Anyway, there we go. Now, this, I don't know where it's gonna go. Holy balls, it is gigantic. Um, it could go here, I suppose. Like, um, let's bring it outside. Everything's going outside for the moment. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. I like it. We have the cooking ware. And now we can make boiled pasta. We have the water. There we go. Nice. So it takes two pasta to make boiled pasta. Let's see actually what the nutritional value is of boiled pasta. Okay, let's eat that salad. Recipes, leaves of salad. But you can't eat them, you can just plant them. So here we go. Fullness plus 10. Nice. That is good. I like that. Look at that. It's getting us right up there. All right. I like that. That is really, really good. So 
here we can shoot zombies. This is where we have a pillar, so we definitely want to upgrade this, and we don't want to waste our wrench for that. So let me just get my tool back. There we go. And this one. Nice. Okay. So all the others we use to shoot through. So I'm not really too worried. The one that's directly beside the house we want to upgrade. So we don't fall down or we don't accidentally fall down. There we go. Nice. Okay. So this is basically going to be uh, my another crafting room that we're going to build. We're going to put a roof over it at some point. But for the moment, we're just in the middle of reconstruction. So you can see here, what I'm doing in the moment is I'm literally taking all these guys apart. I probably should do that during the night when I have the time. And I'm basically building the roof. Um, a proper square roof so we can expand on top of it, make extra rooms, all that jazz. So see here, there we go. Nice. Excellent. And that's going to be a proper roof that we're going to have then. And um, this will just be then a wall that's probably going to be coming here in line with the rest of the house here. And yeah, this is where we're going to have the wall. And this is going to be then one room here, which is going to go all the way through here. So we have a, a nice big room then. And on the inside, we get more space because we're taking all this apart now, which is great. So we basically can put more stuff on the walls or like put bigger stations in or whatnot. So that's pretty interesting. The car alarm went off and the zombie got spawned in. That is really awesome. I like that. So before, when the car alarm went off, it just went off and that was it. Like, you know, there was nothing special about it. Oh, yes, we're going to take them. Thank you very much. Dysentery. Oh, we might keep that to drink dirty water. And then we get dysentery and then we can heal ourselves. That's awesome. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can take this car apart so I can see if I get some more resources, some good resources. It would be great. Then we get a mechanical part. That is pretty awesome. I mean, what we really need is a generator. But to make the generator, we need... 10 mechanical parts, 10 electrical... Okay, let's look around quickly because I keep getting attacked from behind lately and it's really driving me mad. A diesel generator, a small generator. We could do that, but that requires more parts. Um, there is no easy way really to do a generator, a small generator, without all the other parts. We can do a metal frame, I suppose. Which can do with just forged iron. Okay, that's a bit easier to get to. Then... Um, A small deposit. Okay, small deposit. Ah, rubber. Okay, I don't know how to make rubber. I think we can make rubber in the campfire. I was just about to say, our oh, cornmeal. Okay, it is either way complicated. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to see if we can find fridges and um, things like that, that we know have electrical components, electrical parts, and then at the same time go through the cars uh, for the mechanical parts as well as the seats and the offices and the air conditioning units and all that jazz. And hopefully it will be enough. We're gonna have to go looting. This is, we have no choice. This game is basically forcing us to loot uh, the houses because we don't have a choice. Oh, wow. Okay, what is that? Oh, I thought that was like a big cave or something, but it was just a, whatever, um, little thing, cliff thingy. But um, we're gonna go closer into town. We're going to have a look and see if we can find an interesting POI. It would be great to have like a working tool stiffy and uh, loot that. That would be awesome, but we'll see. Holy balls, there's a bloody scorpion. Oh, and a hyena. Oh, genie mat. Ah, your balls. The hyena is right in front of us. Come on, would you just hit him in the head already? Holy balls. Oh my god, I even hit, I even missed him with my club. What is wrong? Genie Mac. Okay, oh wow. Okay, whatever that is. Now, we are out of arrows because we made um, these arrows. 
I wonder how many of these arrows it takes for the hyena to die. Let's test it. I don't know what we're gonna hit. Okay, we... Oh, scorpion is dead. One shot. Wow. Okay. There's a hyena right there. Okay, let's try it. Come on. One. Two. Three. Ah, you balls! Why did we get stuck? I think we can do it in four shots or five shots. We definitely can finish the hyena. With, the, with iron arrows, we are able to. 150 bow. There should be no reason for it not to. So let's run back. And hopefully the hyena is going to be gone. And then we're going to try it again. If I wouldn't have gotten stuck, we would have gotten an extra shot in. I can see the hyena over there. But that should be... It sh ah, you balls. The distance should be enough to not trigger it. Ah, balls. It's of course it's coming close. Oh, man. Ah, holy balls. And... I'm gonna have to fist you, don't I? No, we ah, oh, we lost all our energy on one maniacic laugh. Whatever, you know what? This is just ridiculous. We are going to go over there. Ignore this zombie. Ignore this zombie. This is just ridiculous. There's the hyena. We're gonna walk over and as far of a distance as possible. Hopefully, can loot that bag. Come on. Excellent. Ha! In your face, you stupid zombie. Okay, let's do that. Let's not get too cocky. There we go. Now, what I would like to test is how many times we have to shoot this hyena in the ass. Where's this hyena now? There it is. I can see it. It's right there by the car. It's behind the house. Okay, it's gone. Which means this house is safe for us to loot. Okay, fair enough. Oh, holy balls. Let's take this apart. Um, in the house, we're probably going to find some pictures and some whatever. And we're going to loot it. Hopefully, we're going to find more ranches in the kitchen areas. And um, interesting loot overall. That would be really, really good. Look at that. Our stamina is going down so fast because of our laughing. I think we're going to have to get indoors. Anyway. Oh. I'm going to have to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß. And happy gaming. Oh, well, we already have friends coming in. There they are. Okay, that was, that, was, that was good. That was good. I'm okay with that. Okay. Oh, TV. That's a good source. Nice mechanical parts. Like, make sure nobody's spawning behind us. Very good. I like it. Plastic. Do we get... Yes, we get electrical parts and electrical components. That is awesome. That is exactly what we want. So TV is a very good source for kind of everything. I'm just really conscious of the fact that we're running out of durability on the wrench and we can't repair it because we don't have any steel and we don't have the recipe, so I don't think we can repair it at all. No. Okay. Luckily we're indoors so we don't have to worry too much about the hyena. Oh man, let's finish looting this place. Oh, she's screaming. Okay. We need to find a picture. Let's see, come on. Nobody here? Okay, there's some plastic. 
Where is this zombie coming from? I have no idea. Oh, he's probably upstairs. Anything interesting in these guys? I'm gonna do the whole Outroids loot run. Oh, what is that? Matches? Okay, that just gives paper. Ah, uh, let's see. Maybe a longer outro. Until we come somewhere across with pictures. I mean, my character is getting happy, so she must be near something. That is good. Oh, there's pictures. Very nice. I like it. Oh, balls. Nice. Nice. Oh, I love it. Yes. Ah, come on. That was right in the face. That was also right in the face. That was definitely right in the face. Nice. We got a splint. We got some repairs. Oh, nice. We got some honey. Okay. Let's see quickly here. Do we have a sink? Do we have a wrench? No. No luck for wrench. Got some drink. Very good. I like it. Some beer, which I'm going to drink right now so I don't get stunned. And we want to take this TV apart. Okay, the zombie's quiet, which is actually worrying. Which means he's probably downstairs. Okay, there's plants. Very good. We're getting slowly our sanity back. Oh, yes. Let's not forget that on the way out. But let's quickly check the kitchen for anything ranch related. That would be really awesome. Okay, fridge. Nothing. There we go. There's a kitchen unit. Ah, damn it. I don't think we find a wrench in the normal cabinets. Oh, nice. We leveled up. That is good. Two more levels and we can do minus 69 and next level. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you're going to find a wrench in a cupboard, but hey-ho, you might as well. Nice, more beer. Oh, like, like, like it, like it. Okay. Oh, nice. That was a good find. I'm gonna get rid of all the rubbish so we don't get flies. And it gives us paper, so it's okay. Free glass. see what's upstairs. Like I said, this outro is going to be ass long, but hey-ho. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, there's somebody in the bath. Nice. Okay. Spoon. Toilet. Turret, very nice. Close. I prefer War of the Walkers in that case. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, we already know that. So, what do we get when we scrap these here? Just paper? Ah, yeah. Might as well. I wonder what we're gonna find that today was not my day this was really bad luck we died on the hyena we died um we got attacked by zombies twice just out of nowhere i recorded a whole session of um sky for of sky factory 3 and the recording was completely corrupted because of um oh that beer is actually good for stamina as well i just noticed very nice it got completely corrupted um, there seems to be an issue since the latest NVIDIA updated some of the recording softwares just don't work anymore properly 
um, on some games because of the overlay most likely. I don't know, just a really bad evening altogether. Oh, nice. Oh, now that will be helpful. Nice. Oh, we're still going to craft that. That will definitely help a lot. Okay, we're not going to take the TV apart yet. Let's just go over here. Get the free wood. And then there should be one more room over here, or even two. Give me fright. Oh, and now they start running as well. Oh, balls. Not in the mood to die now. Not in the house in the middle of the night. Oh, nice. Think left. <sighs> Let's see. No runner. Please, no runner. Okay, seems clear. And nothing spawned. No. Okay, good. <sighs> Wrench? I <laughs> thought. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Ah, well, maybe the next house, maybe the next house.